Hello, my most amazing artists. Let me introduce to you James Rizzi. He was a pop artist. That's him in the picture, and that's his artwork. And he was born in New York in 1950. So take a good look at his art, and we will discuss it in just a minute. Enjoy! So to begin, you're going to use a pencil and you are going to draw the animal of your choice. Think about drawing it sort of like an illustration. So give it kind of a character face. I'll have some examples at your tables that you can look at. So I'm starting with the eye. I'm drawing a fish and then I'm going to draw the front part of the fish and I'm trying to give it a character look. I'm not trying to make it look realistic. I'm adding the gill in the fin and just adding a little bit of detail. Now just finish. So I'm finishing the body, adding more fins, adding the tail, adding some bubbles, some hearts because James Rizzi adds a lot of hearts in his artwork. Here's another idea. This time I'm going to draw a bird. So I'm going to do two character eyes touching each other. Add the pupils. I'm going to add a V for the beat the beak in two little lines. Then I'm going to connect the V to make the head with a round line. Then I'm going to draw the letter C coming out from the head. I'm going to draw a letter V on the other side. And then I'm going to connect the V to the C. So that kind of creates the belly and the tail for the bird. I'm going to add some little details, some hair, a wing, some feet. And then I could color this. You can draw any animal that you'd like in the James Rizzi style. Now you're going to use oil pastels to color your drawing. And you need to color it solid. Don't use any black. That's important because if you use black at the beginning, you are going. it will mix in with all the other colors and it messes your project up. So you're going to color just using regular colors. No black. We will use black at the end. So I'm just going to start by coloring all the details and then I'll go in and I will color the background. Your whole paper needs to be colored. Everything. No white space should be left. All right. So I'm coloring everything in. Again, color solid. That means you have to press down hard and Color in all the white space. We are going to be batiking these next week. It is an art technique. I'm going to show you next week. We're going to paint the whole paper black. So any white spaces left will kind of mess up the batik process. So you need to color everything in. Get it all colored. This is going to take time. Your drawing should take a lot less time than your coloring. Once you get everything colored in, and you're ready to color your background, you should outline your animal, your details, with whatever color your background is going to be. My background is blue because I drew a fish, and fish live in the ocean, so my background's blue. You're the artist. You can draw your background whatever color you want. And as you can see, I am outlining everything. Then I color in. So outline and color. This is very tedious, but... It will make a very big difference as to whether your project looks good or not. You notice I'm not leaving a lot of white space. Now, look at your paper. Little bits of oil pastel will ball up on your paper. Don't wipe them. I call these things oil pastel boogers. Just blow them off of your paper. So hold your paper up and... Use air to get them off. If you use your hand, you will smudge it all over your paper. Paper. This is going to happen. When you press down hard with the oil pastel, you are going to get oil pastel boogers. And you will have to take care of them in the proper way so that you don't smear color all over your paper. Okay, finish outlining and coloring. Remember, it's a tedious process. It took me 15 minutes to color mine. That should take you the most amount of time is coloring yours in. If you have a spot that should stay white on your paper, you need to color it in with a white oil pastel. When we batik next week, if you don't color white spaces in with white oil pastel, they will become black, and you don't want that. 
So color anything in that should be white with an oil pastel. Now is when you can take your black oil pastel and outline. You're going to outline everything. In the style of James Rizzi, all of his pictures usually have a nice thick black outline. He is an illustrator. He's a pop artist and he has this nice bold black outline. So be very careful when you are outlining. Take your time and it won't take as long as coloring in because you're just drawing lines, but take your time so it looks neat. Press down hard so you get a nice bold line. Just outline all your pencil lines and then you're done. Remember, do not smudge the oil pastels by wiping them. Just simply blow them off your paper. Carefully outline in black and when you are finished, your project will look something like this. Your paper should be totally colored.